Welcome to What Simulator is Good for Me, Part 5 of the series. Uh, this one will be covering uh, any kind of simulators that are related to security police or the armed citizen. There is actually some other ones from that I didn't list in the initial part from Laser Ammo High Marksman. Laser Ammo has a video scenario trainer, which is good for, you know, have a target, you know, just turn and shoot and you create your own videos to simulate if someone, you know, pick up someone who's going to turn out, who's going to be a threat in the crowd sort of thing. And uh, I Marksman has some kind of force on force video scenario trainer as well. Um, I did not get my hands on those. Uh, those were a little bit more pricier and I'm more of a competition shooter. And I spent pretty much the majority of the money into the ProTarg constructor to begin with. And I just, you know, I'm not into the, uh, I have no reason to use the security um, based products. However, uh, ShootingSoft was a, or was nice enough to send me their Pro Tactical Constructor to try out and run with related to this topic. So if you are in the Security Police Armed Citizen category, ShootingSoft Pro Tactical Constructor might be for you. Um, it comes with a number of you know terror hostage scenarios that you could practice or you can even create your own. Uh, just like the Pro Target Constructor, it allows you to create your own stages. You can you know, have a bad guy here and have a parameter where they either stay still or they move within this parameter. Um, you can also set up non-threats or no-shoots and, and other terms. But uh, if uh, the civilian pretty much that you place in there is within range of the bad guy, <laughs> they, they can they can become a uh, target or, or a hostage in that, in that situation where uh, they may or may not grab that person and you know use them as a hostage. You have to try and have a shoot smaller headshot and not hit the hostage. Um, it's a, it's very impressive the way they did it, and um, we'll just uh, I'll show you the videos which were posted beforehand. So if you never seen them beforehand, then um, you'll see them now. It'll basically, go over the builder and some of the uh, stages, basically, or scenarios. The Pro Tactical Constructor gives you the ability to make your own scenarios. It comes with a number of base locations, such as an office, a warehouse, an airplane, an airport, and a marketplace. Um, these locations already have its own kind of map, so it gives you the ability to cycle through certain areas of that location and put your hostages and hostels in the locations that you need them to and of course, given the actions that uh, that you want them to do, either run around as a hostage or just patrol, or take a hostage or attacker, and so forth. In this scenario, we're going to set up an office environment where, let's say, we're in our cubicle, and then we have someone that's next to us that's going to end up being frantic and a hostile that's near the area. Um, it allows you to set the area that they're going to walk in for both the civilian and the hostile. If these two areas overlap and you have a hostile that's moving around and that's under for attack, that's in the same circle parameter of the hostage, there's a, there's a chance that the uh, hostile will take the hostage it takes a civilian as a hostage and you have to deal with that. Sometimes it will happen, sometimes it won't. It's pretty random. It's brilliant, really. And uh, so you have to deal with that and then you can have it set up in different positions just like the pro target constructor. You can do different positions to move over and engage multiple targets as you, you know, uh, go through the office to try and clear it out. You can also set up uh, how each individual person looks, how the host hostages look, how the hostiles look. You can set up the, the civilians to be uh, either just in panic mode or still, or they can be you can even set up allies that are going to help and 
you can have the option to see if they're going to be doing damage to the hostiles as well. So let's just finish up this one, we'll save and run through it to see how it looks. Afterwards, you can see where you hit your enemies at, and you'll also be able to check uh, the civilians to see if you hit them or if they're alive. This concludes our uh, series of the which simulator is good for me. I hope some of it has been informational for you and you're able to see some stuff in action. Uh, as you can see, a lot of them have their own place and some kind of cross over into others, you know, sports or, or, or practice styles. If you want to become a marksman, if you just want to play games or want to do both and uh, even for some for competition shooting that is also very good also some that are good for you know police security or the armed citizen so i hope this helps you out a lot Till next time